Hello, I'm Angus Dalgleish. I'm a professor of oncology at the University of London based at St George's. And I'm here to tell you about some of the alternative treatments we have developed by the funding from the charity ICVI. Over 30 years ago, I was asked to look after a patient who had a very severe and serious autoimmune disease, i.e. when the body attacks its own self. And this patient was completely resistant to steroids. And reading that we had done suggested that thalidomide might be useful for this patient. And she responded unbelievably well. It was quite a miracle considering how ill she was. This led us to wanting to look at this drug more carefully and we had very good assays in the laboratory to see exactly what it did. And in a very short time we realised this could be very useful for chronic infections such as HIV, which was a big problem at the time, and also the weight loss that you get with cancer patients. Well, it was found that patients who have multiple myeloma uh, responded very well to this drug in a small study done in the United States. And we thought that we should then take this drug and look at all the effects in the immune system and realised that when we did put it into the clinic, there were problems with side effects. The ones with birth defects was very well known, but we could not give the drug long term because of real bad problems with neuropathy, a damage to nerves. So we suggested to uh, people, colleagues working at Celgene, that it would be really useful if they made sisters and brothers of this basic thalidomide drug and test them to see whether any of them could actually be useful without having the side effects. And the third generation of these drugs, we found an ideal candidate, which was far better than thalidomide and had none of the side effects. And I was truly honoured to be able to give this to the first person in the world and conduct the phase one studies. And these were so good with the side effect problem so low that we immediately put these into patients with multiple myeloma and lymphoma. And now it is an incredible blockbuster. It has been used worldwide for these diseases. And now we have been working on sons and daughters of these drugs to get a new generation of agents that can attack other parts of the immune system and pathways to boost the effects to other drugs. Now, in our work, we were amazed to find that this drug boosts our vaccines. So we have now conducted even clinical studies proving that when you give it with a vaccine, the patient will make a much stronger immune response. And this is even with ordinary vaccines, such as the ones you use for pneumonia in elderly people. Many patients will not respond to that, but if they're given this drug first, they make excellent responses. I would just like to point out that without the support of the charity ICVI, I would never have had the freedom to embrace so many different approaches to cancer and have the effect and benefit in the clinical trials that we have had to date. And I must express my eternal gratitude for all the support that the ICVI has given me and my team.